Okay, I can't take the look of the poor light anchors or anymore. The paint's horrible. And we're about ready to get some different wheels and tires for it too, some bigger ones. So all the fender flares are, have been ripped off it. You can see right here. And we gotta still remove some of these bolts, the body bolts here that we're holding those on. And then we're just gonna, we're starting to remove, starting to remove all the lights on it. And then we're gonna fix a bunch of the dents on it because we've got a bunch so on. We've got this big dent back here. We're gonna fix all that up. We've got a few, we've knocked some of these out up in here. We still got a little bit of work to do on that. And then we gotta fill all these holes here before we spray it. Then we'll just go through here and find all the little imperfections, and dents, and fix those. We're gonna fill all all of these holes up, and then the hood has a bunch of dents in it too that we're just gonna fill. We're gonna knock them out as much as we can. Then some of those are a little harder because can't get to them, so we'll probably just end up filling those. And. We'll go from there. We gotta fill up these little dents here and we're just gonna leave the snorkel on, but we're gonna go ahead and tape around everything on there. Uh, we'll take out the, oh, the antenna here. And then I plan on doing the hood, the fenders, and from this line down, we're gonna, we're gonna spray. So we're just gonna go ahead and take all the rest of the lights out and then start prepping and sanding. Okay, we've got everything marked. We've got all of our body stuff off. We're gonna start sanding this side and then we're gonna do body filler in the spots I already showed you on this side. Sand that back down and then we're gonna do some primer over that and then we can start spraying later on. So we're gonna start on this side, getting all this fixed because this side has actually got the worst amount of damage. The other side's not bad compared to this side. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing just to kinda of know where all my dents are and stuff that I need to fill. I've knocked this one out. That was actually kind of caved in. I just took a hammer from the back side here and, and tapped it out. There's just a little bit of wave now right there. We've got a little tiny dent here, one right there, a couple on the hood here, a couple more here. I'm just marking these with a marker because if you're doing the, if you're doing a paint job, you wouldn't use a marker because it'll show through the paint and black does not come off. So there's a little dent right there that'll fill in. I'll sand all these before I fill them and put a little bit of uh, primer behind them and then put the filler on. Got a couple small little dents right here. Then this, got a couple dents in here. I knocked this one out a while ago from the inside. I just used my hand, pushed it out. This one, um, it's pretty screwed up. I haven't really worked it yet. I'm gonna try and get something in here so I can at least beat this back out where it belongs. And then back here, we got a couple dents. That's about it. So, and then I still got about eight of these left to pop, and then we're gonna fill all these holes in too. And I have this rivet here left to grind down in the door. And then we're gonna have to fill these in because I screwed up there when I was putting the snorkel in. For some reason that was marked and I didn't even check it against the snorkel. But, oh well. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna do the hood. We'll do the fenders. I'm just gonna do everything from this body line down. I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do everything from that body line down. I'm not gonna do the top because it's not in bad shape actually. We're gonna, do our line across here and then I'm just going to go ahead and clean all this paint because it's pretty pretty good shape I did I used some clay bar to clean this up and it actually came out pretty good so I will do that again buff it out at the top here and um, I think everything will look pretty good after we're done there 
That's about it for dents. Let's start getting the sander out and we'll start sanding these spots that I found that need some filler. We'll primer them and uh, see where we're at after that. got our little mixing pad here we're going to use. Uh, unfortunately, all I have are drywall scrapers, but we're going to sand those down. I'm not too concerned with this thing being perfect. Obviously, I'm using it off-road a lot. Um, we have some Dura Glass, which is a filler right here. And I would suggest using like a paint stick or something like that to dig this out of here. Mix it up a little bit before you start using it because mine has settled a bit. This stuff's about 50 bucks on Amazon for a gallon, which is more than I'll need on this vehicle, but I can save it and use it for something else someday, I guess. So I'm just going to mix this up real quick, throw it on here, mix it up. I, used to, I usually use about a golf ball size to a pea of the uh, hardener. Let me find the hardener here real quick. Okay, the reason I'm using such nasty uh, filler with a lot of fiberglass strands is because these holes here are getting filled and they're kind of a bigger hole. I didn't want to have to try and weld that shut either, so this is kind of a better solution for me. Do what you want, I don't care. This is not a showpiece and I do not care about it being a showpiece. So, I just want it to look nice and good for when my bed liner goes on. I didn't want the fender flares anymore, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw this kind of like a line across what I got here with my hardener. i just take another stick you got here. This is just a, a door shim, luckily. And then just uh, mix all your stuff together until everything is mixed together real nicely so you don't have like streaks of blue in your green. Make sure you wear some old nasty clothes you don't care about as well because you do not want this in your good stuff. It will not come out. Okay, now that's on there. You want to start working this stuff fairly quickly. Grab whatever spatula you want to use, a knife, and make sure it's clean. You should wipe this off a little bit more, but this stuff will stick. So just put enough on here to cover your hole. And you may have to do this a few times with sanding and
that seems set up pretty good there. It's breaking off, so it's mostly dry. So we'll just start hitting this with the sander. guys so uh, passenger or driver side sorry so the driver side is pretty much filled I've got a couple more little spots right here being one and then uh, let's see a little pinhole right there I'm gonna touch up some more sanding right here and then this thing I'm gonna go over a few more times and get that nice and filled in and smoothed out. So a lot more work there. I'm gonna have to hand sand down and through all this stuff. Get that really nice, but it's getting nice and straight. We got all these wrinkles worked out right there. All of our holes in the body are filled. So we're making some good progress. We'll start on the other side next. We got the passenger side all sanded down. So next thing we're going to start doing is filling in the holes again like we did on the other side. Looking good. This side doesn't have nearly the body damage. So what I'm going to do here, because this panel, the quarter panel back here is still in good shape, I'm going to try and contour the other side as best I can to match the contour here. So at least I've got that. And then all I really have to do on this side is fill in these holes for the body. I gotta actually grind, grab my grinder here uh, and grind down that rivet just a bit more right there. And then we get a little bit of stuff here I'm gonna try and knock out real quick. I'm gonna put a set of rocker guards on here that I'm building. And then we just got a couple holes here, the holes for all the fenders, and then a couple dents up in here. So. I'll probably end up sanding the hood just a bit more so I can find the rest of the dents up there. See how we get along. Two hours later. All right, guys. So we have our body, except for a few places, mostly finished up. Um, I started taping everything. Everything's primered where I had bare metal. We used some heavy red primer on this. So we got a few more spots to sand off. Everything taped off. And the next step is to start laying out our plastic around the top because I'm not spraying the top as I mentioned before so I'm going to start hanging this plastic here and then I'll trim it back to the tape line that we got right here and then we'll just keep moving around the vehicle and getting everything prepped for spraying hopefully in a little bit I can spray all the bed liner on here All right, it is finally time to go ahead and Raptor line. There we go, we got, our, we got our Raptor liner and we've got our bottles of tint. We got four of each. So we put these in first and then we mix it and then we put our hardener in. So we are ready to start spraying this bad boy and getting her done. Everything's taped off and masked off. So we are ready to spray. 
we're gonna start doing it. Okay, we have got everything prepped. We're ready to start praying, or not praying. We're ready to start spraying everything. Uh, we've got everything primered, everything sanded, so we're gonna start the uh, process of spraying our vehicle down with the Raptor liner. Okay, to mix this stuff up, what we're doing here, we got this color right here. First thing to do is take the color, dump that in here. Stop that. And you grab your hardener and you fill that up to this line. Hoping for a little less texture, but that's okay. I'll live with it. So that didn't take very long to do at all. I think I might need some more right through here. We'll have to order some more, I think. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Everything came out pretty good. It's funny, I used four bottles of that and I thought that would be more than enough, but I barely had enough, as you can see. Um, Overall, I like it. It's gonna look really nice when I get all the wrapping off it. Didn't have too much overspray, but it's always good to protect your stuff so you don't have to go clean it off later. All right, so we're gonna wrap that up. We'll start putting it back together.
Okay, it's been a few days. Man, my beard is getting big again. Trimmed it down. Uh, so Raptor liner is dry and looks pretty good. The coverage isn't too bad. And I'll tell you a little secret, don't be mad. I actually had to touch it up because that stuff was not, didn't cover that as well. So the best thing I found, and this is gonna be great for touch up later. You can give me crap all you want, but uh, Rust-Oleum. Uh, gloss white for this color matches my bed liner color perfectly. So any spots that I had there, I could still see some primer through it or paint. I just went ahead and touched her up. Oh well, I don't care. It's a trail rig. So when it's trail rig, I don't care. Uh, so anyway, I do love it. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments, people asking about it, just driving around for the last few days, but yeah. And my buddy Nate did this to his uh, Range Rover Classic. He actually did it in like Nardo Gray and it looks amazing as well. So the Raptor liner stuff is just, it's nice. It, it works pretty good. I probably wouldn't use it as a, like a professional bed liner. Like you'd go down and get your bed lined, but for like covering your vehicle and protecting it from scratches and, you know, desert uh, brush marks and stuff. I like it. Pinstriping. No more pinstriping on this. Uh, we're going to have another reveal here pretty soon. So you might notice that that is covered up. Made a new mod today, new tires and new wheels. And, uh, if you want to see what that looks like, looks freaking excellent, by the way, very happy with what we went with here. I'll reveal that later in the week too, and uh, show you the whole picture of the truck. Give you a whole view of what we've done to it. We also uh, cleaned up the front end. Uh, we painted the grill. We got rid of all the chrome. It's all been deleted. So there is no chrome. I had to cut there because I accidentally showed <laughs> the front wheel. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Can't do that. So there's no chrome left on the truck. Uh, we'll show you the rest. This thing barely fits in the garage. I got like two or three inches of clearance on the uh, the garage door when I pull in now. So anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm excited for this thing. It looks great. Can't wait to get it back out on the trail. We got to rebuild the front end on it. Uh, I got some new um, CVs here. Got some heavy duties, uh, brand new, with the tone ring on them for. ABS. I don't think my ABS works anyway. The light's on. I don't know that I care. And then a complete axle seal bearing kit and everything up in here. And then I've got some more door speakers to put in. Some kicker speaker wire speakers. And I got to play with the stereo system just a bit more. But anyway, pretty happy with it. All we got left to do to the paint now on the roof is pull the rack. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and clay bar this uh, paint on the roof in the upper half, and then we got we're gonna go around and pull off maybe some of the trim and repaint it black. But um, next thing we're gonna do too is build a tire carrier for the back here. Get rid of this uh, crummy plastic stuff that's got a dent in it anyway. I don't know how that happened. It was previous to my ownership. Oh, might as well just rip that piece of crap off right now, huh? Anyway, we've got a little rust spot right here we're going to fix um, while we're at it. But, yeah. Pretty excited. This is going to be a lot of fun.